speaker is Ryan M. Kempster. Ryan is doing his PhD in the School of Animal Biology and the Oceans Institute. His PhD topic is the role of electroreception in the feeding behaviour of elasmobranchs. And the title of his three minute thesis talk is the role of electroreception in the feeding behaviour of sharks. Now I want you to imagine for a moment that you're out swimming up in the ocean when suddenly you see something in the distance and your worst fear is realised when you see a large dorsal thing break the surface of the water. A large white shark is heading right for you. So, what do you do? Well, you could try and swim away from it, you could dive below the water, or you could just play dead. But I'm sorry to tell you that nothing you do is going to help you hide from this shark. And that's because sharks are specifically designed for tracking and locating their prey, which, unfortunately, in this case, may well be you. Now, sharks are apex predators at the top of the food chain, and they've been around for about 450 million years, which is about 449.8 billion years longer than us. So they're pretty old. And in all that time, they've evolved some pretty amazing adaptations to help them survive. In fact, sharks are so highly evolved that they actually have two more sensory systems to the five that you and I have. Now one of these is the lateral line, and this helps sharks pick up on vibrations produced by the movements of other fish. But by far the most impressive sensory system of all is a shark's ability to pick up on electric fields produced by all living organisms. Now they do this using tiny pores found all over the surface of the head called the ampullae of Lorenzini. And these pores receive electrical signals and transmit this information to the brain. So as a shark moves through the water column, moving its head from side to side, the electrical signal received by these pores will vary. And it's this variation that allows a shark to determine the location of their prey. Now a shark is so sensitive to these electric fields that if you were to take a battery found in your TV remote control at home and connect it in a circuit, one end at London and the other end at New York, a shark would be able to detect the current between these two places. In fact, a shark can even detect every single beat of your heart thanks to the electrosensory system. And that's because the beating of your heart is caused by a tiny electrical impulse. So, through my research, I want to understand how sharks use the electrosensory system and what role electroreception plays in their feeding behavior. I will do this by stimulating sharks with artificially produced electric fields that replicate their natural prey. I will even replicate the bioelectric fields of people. And this is basically because I couldn't get the approval to put a person in our shark tank. <laughs> so hopefully by understanding more about the electrosensory system, we can understand more about why sharks attack humans. And then in the future, we can hopefully help people like this guy up here and make sure they get out of the water unharmed. <laughs> 